The other day, I started a brand new series trading to 1 million coins from scratch in FIFA 21. Now, in the last episode, we started off with 38,000 coins and we wanted to trade that up to a decent amount. By the end of the episode, we made 100,000 coins, so we managed to make 60,000 coins in just one day. Now, the interesting thing with this series is, is that I've not really got that much control over it. Now, in the last episode, I said I'll be leaving two comments down in the comment section. I wanted you to like them for what you wanted to see me trade with next. Now, the comment that won was more chemical style trading so that's what we've done in this video so in this video it's going to be episode two of my trading to 1 million coin series and if you check in the comment section there should be two comments and i need you to like which one you want to see most it'll probably be silvers and maybe investing or something like that just before we go any further though lads if you could drop a like on this video thank you so much for smashing that like target of 500 likes i mean at this point i tell you what 600 likes and you'll get the next episode i've been recording this session from thursday to saturday so anything that I say and maybe it's just a bit out of date please do just allow it if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA coins lads make sure to click the link in the description and go over to Mule Factory Mule Factory have been the sponsor of the channel for a number of years now and have allowed me to do this on a full-time basis so if you do want to buy yourself any please do click the link in the description and use the code LE5 cheap to get yourself a discount but let's get into it yeah boy so first things first here's a number of players that I went through and bought on Thursday night I think probably after I put out the first video, I immediately went trading again. And like I said in the last video, boys, I am streaming all of this, well, the majority of this on Twitch. So make sure to click the link in the description and follow me on Twitch. But over there, I basically just went through, spent up my 100,000 coins and here's where we ended up after maybe 12 hours or so. All right, lads, so here's all the players that managed to sell on from last night. So I picked them up late last night, putting around 100,000 coins. And the next day, here's where we're sat. We're sat on 133,000 coins. So not doing too bad. My main aim for for this episode is to get around 200,000, 250,000 coins, there or thereabouts. Some of the players haven't sold on, so I do need to get them sold on, but my main plan for today is gonna to be using that filter that I talked about yesterday, but I'm gonna be expanding on it ever so slightly and trading with individual players. Now, I think I need to go and find the individual players to start off with, and it'll make a lot more sense. So people like Sissoko, I wanna go and trade with him specifically and see what he's going for with a shadow on him, and maybe if any position modifiers are on him as well, that could be perfect. But mainly go through with individual players because I've built up enough coins now that I can do it so that's gonna be my next little step I haven't slept in 26 hours how do you think I feel top of the world so skip forward around six hours after recording that little section at the start I went through and spent up on my 133,000 coins as much as I could do the issue with it was the stuff kept selling so I couldn't get fully spent up which was a bit of a pain it was Friday night boys I wanted to just log off have a bottle of wine, you, you know, you, you know how it is. Either way though, lads, I went through and spent around 90,000 coins on loads of different players. In addition to that as well, some of the players that we bought hadn't sold on, but in this situation, like I've said before, you just keep relisting or just adjust the price ever so slightly. As long as you're still making profit because you're buying so many, really doesn't matter too much. So here's all the players that I went and picked up. As you can see in my unassigned, I bought loads and loads of different players. The main ones that I was looking for were sort of low budget meta players. Now, in terms of tracking these prices, it is slightly different and I'll show you exactly how to do that because when I recorded this section I'd left background music on which is absolutely it's absolutely fab I love it I absolutely love it so this was the little spreadsheet that I come up with as you can see by the spreadsheet I typed in the player the price and then I left the chemistry style blank because I was mainly just trading with shadow chemistry style players now this gave me a bit of an indication of what the average price of these players was throughout the day now i didn't update this at all during the day i listed the price down and then i just used it as a guide so say for example if they've been selling all day at four thousand coins and i saw a deal at two thousand coins i knew it was a pretty decent deal now this is something that i'd recommend for you to do as well if you want to trade individually with these cards with that general filter from yesterday don't get me wrong it is a pretty decent method but with the competition it's a bit hard sometimes to always get the best deals but if you're doing individual players it's only usually yourself who you've got to compete with and knowing the prices and everything like that so from last night i went off and i wanted to get everything sold on with all of this stuff i listed it for 12 hours and hopefully we're going to be close to that 200,000 coin mark by the end of this episode all right the boys so Saturday morning as you can see in the top left we are currently on 176,000 coins and we've been 
Trading like there's no tomorrow. Honestly, I have been doing very, very well with this trading. And some of the stuff hasn't sold on. I feel like I say that pretty much every time that I do this. They don't always sell on, but you can see that enough is selling on where I've made around 50,000 coins, maybe 60,000 coins in this episode. And once everything sells on, I'll be well over 200,000 coins. Now, at the end of this, I just want to show you specifically what I've been doing. I appreciate that towards the start, it's quite hard to gauge how I've been trading. So I just want to show you specifically how I've been doing it. Now, the minimum price on the general filter constantly changes. So if I was going to do the general filter now, I'll just show you again exactly how I do it. I go over to shadow and I just find the average minimum selling price. It isn't the minimum selling price. So it's the average. So as you can see, the average here is around 2.4k that all these are selling at. And then you'll be able to see some cards that pop up for a bit cheaper. Now with you doing it at the average minimum, some cards will pop up at 2.4k that won't go instantly because people don't know the prices. So when I've been talking about trading individually with cards, it might my opinion I think it's better to do that because you're on a lot less competition so I've just been doing it like this and I changed that 15 million at the top just to make sure that we see the newest cards that are listed I scrolled to the 59th minute because the new deals are going to be around the 59th minute when someone lists a card up for an hour it'll be on the 59th minute so hopefully that does make sense but in terms of trading with the individual cards you saw the list that I was trading with and how I was doing it was like this I go over to a player and the first thing I do is work out how much they're selling for without anything on that card Card. So Sosoko at the minute is selling for roughly around well, around 2.5k, there are thereabouts, 2.3k. Then what I'd do, I'd find a gap with that card and see how much they're going for with maybe a shadow on them. So with a shadow on him, I can expect to maybe get around 3.3k. There are some up there at 2.7, but they do go pretty quick and you can pick them up at 2.7 and sell them on at 3.4, 3, 3. And you may take a couple of times to sell them on, but it doesn't really matter too much. And then say, for example, there wasn't a deal with that one, I'd just move on to the next player. So let's just say nine golem, for example. How much is nine golem? going for on the market currently he's currently going for what looks like okay quite expensive around 6,000 5,000 coins there or thereabouts but how much is he going for with say a shadow on him and if the card was there with a shadow on it at the same price as what he's normally listed at I know that that's a decent deal so you can see here that he's going for with a shadow on him around 7,000 coins there or thereabouts not really too many deals kicking about on that one so again I just move on to the next player so the next player I'd go for would be Emre Chan and you just keep building up and up and up and obviously as soon as I'm trading with these I'm not going to be able to find anything but you can can see here Emre Chan 4,000 coins currently on the market but what's he going for with a shadow chemist style on him if it's anywhere near 4,000 coins we could potentially be in the money so 4,000 coins there eight and a half thousand six thousand coins there and then is there anything over here for hmm 3,900 I'm going to leave it because that's been up for quite a while. So the hardest thing with this method is, is basically just judging whether or not something is a good deal. But you do get the hang of it. You just have to keep working your way through all of these different players. Now, someone asked me in my stream yesterday, why would people even buy these players? There's loads of different reasons why people would buy these players. There's so many different objectives in the game and there's so many new people starting the game that these players are always in demand. So that's the main reason why I've been trading with all of these. But I think that's a good place to wrap up this video. As you can see, I've still got loads of stuff selling on some of my stuff is the cheapest on the market some of it is the only card on the market and some of it will sell on pretty well so for example they say well, it's mainly hasn't sold on at 2k I've listed up at 3.5, so I just bring the price down and go for 3,000 instead. So hopefully that makes a bit more sense. But lads, that's where I'm going to be wrapping this video up. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on it, comment down below and spam in Oosh. Subscribe if you're new. But ladies, it's 26. Lewis, this has been the Training 2 1 million coin series. Make sure to get the votes on those comments down below. Hope you lads are enjoying it. I'm enjoying doing it, so hopefully you lads are enjoying watching it. But it's 26. Lewis, and I am off.